Hi, I'm Josie Quick, and welcome to another installment of How to Play Blues Fiddle. In the last video, I showed you the first finger major blues scale pattern, and previously we did the open string major blues scale pattern. So now we're going to put them together. So your first finger pattern starts on A, first finger down here, second finger, third finger, C natural, and then C sharp, E, F sharp. And your open string pattern, open, one, two, then sharp two, E, first finger, and third finger. So when you put that together, you have a two octave major blue scale. Two octaves gives you so much more room to play around. So let's play that over a one five chord progression. This scale is going to work best over the one chord. It works pretty well over the five chord. It does not work so well over the four chord. So if you're going to be using this scale, you'll want to switch to the minor scale when you get to the four chord. We'll work more on that later. By the way, this scale, the A major blues scale, is the same as your F sharp or G flat minor blues. So if somebody says to you, let's play this tune in G flat blues, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll say, yeah, I've got this. No problem. Let's play this scale over a 1-5 chord progression. Here we go. A. how it fits over both chords as you play it. You can go back and play that again and do different rhythms with it. You can play around just with the scale itself and come up with some licks. Now that you have that scale under your fingers, we can play it starting on each note of the scale and going up one octave and coming back down. And that'll give you a really good feel for what it sounds like when you start on different notes of the scale. When you end a phrase, you don't always want to end on the first note of the scale. When you do that, it sounds like you're done. And you don't want to sound like when you're playing a solo, like you're done. Now you're done. Now you're done. <laughs> so. Learning to end on different notes of the scale can help with that. So I'm going to start on the A and go up to A. And then start on B, but I'm playing the same notes. And so on. that along with this backing track. Here we go. Ready and
how some of the notes don't quite fit the chord. When you're playing it slowly like that, you're kind of sitting on the dissonant notes longer than you would normally when you are playing a solo. It, but this will also kind of help you to hear what works and what doesn't. So pay attention to that. Stop and practice that before you move on to the next thing. So the next pattern is a real common one where you go up three and back down to where you started. A common rock and roll lick is to play that fast. Let's play that pattern with the backing track. So I'm going to add that flat three in there since we are talking about blues. that get that under your fingers that's a very handy lick to know sometimes I am using my fourth finger to play that C sharp and sometimes I'm sliding it it just kind of depends on whether I want to hear a slide or whether I want it to be fast if I want it to be fast and clean I'll use the fourth finger if I want to hear the slide I'll use the third finger so some other licks you can do is go up three and go back down. So. so there I would use my fourth finger. good for doing things like so you get that under your fingers I would recommend that after you get it slowly maybe you do just practice and you know, once you have that then start trying it fast and work it up like that another one would be to go up, start your starting note, go up two pitches of the scale and back down. So like, for example, I go A and then to C and then back to B. So 
along with the backing track, it might sound something like this. <laughs> So there I was trying to combine some of those different patterns and different licks in order to create a melody. So let's play, do a little call and response. I'll play, you play, I'll see if I can throw some of those licks in so you can get a feel for them over the changes. Long one. Alrighty, so now I'm going to let this backing track run a little bit so that you can just experiment with some of those ideas. So have fun.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to check out my Blues Fiddle course on Patreon. Happy fiddling!